Wow. I just listened to something that was sent to me from our brother Chris. Uh, Chris Chapin. That was given to Jeff Byerly at Holy Spirit Wind. That's his channel. Holy Spirit Wind dash Jeff Byerly. It's um, uh, diff some of you may have heard it. It's different words to the song America the Beautiful. It's really sad. It's called America the Babylon a song from the Father to America and uh, you know I put it on I, I shared it on my Facebook and those that need to hear it probably listen to one or two stanzas and that'll be it I go oh, this ain't gonna happen They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They refuse to believe the prophets. They listen to their pastors. Like the like part of this says. This and that's going on while your pastors just bless. You know, they're not teaching them. How many Americans? And I'm wondering about other countries, you know. Like this word was given particularly to America. But aren't there other countries living in the same kind of situation? Pornography. I mean, uh, adultery, fornication, uh, loose lifestyles, abortions. I mean, surely we're not the only country in this world. I know in Holland, prostitution is legal. You can go pick a woman out of a window of a store. Like shopping for a dress. Ooh, I like that one. And you go inside and you tell the man, I want that woman in window number three. And pay whatever. It's that loose. And so I'm just wondering if, if anybody that listens to this is from another country or you know of other countries because maybe you're subscribed to some people from other countries. Is this kind of thing being given to the prophets or people who are messengers for the Lord? We'll put it that way. Are they getting things like this? I'm wondering. Because I know we're not the only country sinning. Everybody sins. And how upset is Father with them? Not that I'm excusing anything we do. No, not at all. This country was founded on Judeo-Christian principles. Supposedly. Our Constitution, the Amendments, Bill of Rights. But yet all the Founding Fathers were, were 33rd degree Masons or, or at least in the Freemasons. We know George Washington was. There's plenty of statues and pictures of him wearing his little apron in the the belt thing they wear with the symbols on it and all that. So they he didn't hide it. I think it used to be an honorable thing to be in the Masons. Kind of like being in the Iron Workers Local Union. I just mentioned that because I had a husband in that. And uh, now look what it is. And maybe it always was. I don't know. But y'all might want to listen to this. Well, he just says the words as the music plays. He says the words that would have been sung to that, you know, as it goes. It's pretty sad. But we know who's in control. 
we know our fate. If you're strong in the Lord, you love the Lord with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself, you're living a life with God first. You're forgiving others what they do wrong to you. And I think most of us are probably alone. Even if you have a spouse, they don't agree with you. They're not where you are. We're kind of in a lonely existence. And all we have is each other and, and our Lord God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. That you are, you got it. Somehow or another, you got it. And they didn't. Why? Why have only so few understood what we understand? Why do only so few love him enough to want to go to heaven now? And not wait to see their kids grow up and... Uh, Oh, we're buying a house, and I'm looking forward to doing this in the backyard and that in the front yard, and we're going to change this, and we're going to add that. And they'd rather live to see that than to go home. Well, you know, this, this world has nothing to offer anybody, and I wish I had a bullhorn. And I wish I could just ride up and down the streets of Birmingham preaching what I want to say. Oh, I wish I had my other dog. I would feel protected. He has some pretty big teeth. I miss that dog so much. Not that I don't love Jasper. I would do something like that if I had him. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to be told by father, I guess, and get a permit. I don't know. I just want to. I want to get up on the roof and shout it to everybody. Jesus is coming. Get ready. Get ready. Repent. Put him first. Stop worrying about what the world has to offer. It has nothing to offer. This world is going down. This country's going down. It will burn. Just like the picture in this video, which I will do a snapshot right now. This picture here that, that oh, I guess Jeff got. I'll just use it. Someone carrying the flag and big old fires going on. I hope you'll listen and I hope you'll share it with whoever you can think of. And as with all messages from that are said to be from the Lord, take it to the Lord if you think any of it's not true. But we've been hearing this. We know the word of God says Ephraim. We are Ephraim. We will burn. We are Babylon. Tim Foster does such good Bible studies on proving why we are Ephraim in the Old Testament. And also Babylon. What a shame. This country was so great, wasn't it? It was. America the beautiful. God shed his grace on me. <sighs> okay. I'll end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. I pray it goes viral. 
And most of all, I pray that it doesn't just fall into different people's email boxes, but that they actually open it and listen to it. And take it to heart and repent. I pray that for every single person that watches Jeff's video, not mine. Share his video, not mine. I mean, you can share mine, anything. Anything I put up is Creative Commons. It can be shared with anybody. But they, need, they need to see that version from Father. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection. Myself, my computer, and all of you and your devices and your internet connections. So we can keep sharing these things and stay in fellowship together until we're out of here. Surely it's not much longer with all that's coming down the road. Bye for now. I will talk to you later.